Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Hearts of Iron for using a mod called Project Valachord, or Valachord, I'm probably saying that wrong, and I'm your host Mr. Mokelover. In this uh, update, which is the Outer Rim update at the time of this recording, we're playing as, uh, well, Alderaan, which, he, which will become the Rebellion, and we're led by Bale Organa, he's a seasoned senator, and we're going to stir the Senate. The Empire has gone unchecked for far too long, we must begin to push back the Imperial Senate, so as to try and enact a meaningful change, but we'll see how far that really gets us. Galactic Empire gets a stirring in the Senate, weekly balance, uh, balance of power change, get more political power. Um, what do we have here? Uh, formalize the alliance in the Senate. Okay, cool. So I was recommended to try this path out just be, um, because I've actually played this mod before, but it's been a while since I've played, but we have resistance cells across the galaxy. Small bands of insurgents have swollen into full formations, poised to strike the Empire. These rebel fighters, while limited in supplies and personnel, will fight with extreme tenacity against all odds. Alderaan Monarchy. The Alderaan Alderaanian monarchy has ruled over Alderaan for over a thousand years, and their kind and compassionate natures led to the people of Alderaan to rally behind their leader. So we're going to formalize the alliance. We have steadfast pacifism. Ooh. For hundreds of years, Alderaan has been known for its pacifist nature, an emphasis on the arts and life itself over war. We have a neglected, mili neglected military as well. The pacifist nature of Alderaan has led to the military being underfunded in comparison to other planets. So what do we have? Disarmed nation. Oh god. Export focus. Civilian economy. Oh god. Uh, political advisors. Well, honestly, I've not tried any of this off screen, so I don't know what's going to happen. We might get C3PO because we need a protocol droid. Uh, Salt you, Leia Organa. That's not bad. Weekly stability and political power does go up. She cannot become the leader. Ooh. Is not the current country leader. Oh, man. Uh, Borsk Felia. One of the following must be true. It does not exist. Bothawi is in faction. Subject of us. It's not bad. It's a lot, though. Daily beer support. Well, this is probably a bad idea. I like extra political power, and to get more weekly stability sounds good, but we're actually maxed out on stability for now. So I'm going to get C3PO because we need uh, political power because we're a lover of PP here. Hidden base. We've taken great care to ensure that our base of operations remain hidden from our enemies. As a result of this, our enemy does not know where to strike, and we cannot declare war on us. And we'll start a protest Imperial Moths. Cool. And I love how fast this mod moves. That's one thing I do remember about this mod. It moves extremely fast. And we're losing a lot of fuel just because we're training all day every day. And the inevitable uprising, plagued by silent resistance, our garrison on Mon Cala is beginning to lose control of the situation. Secret societies meet under the waves. Plotinus seeks control of the water world once more. It's simply a matter of time before the uprising begins. We may only delay the inevitable. Interesting. Imperial Senate. For over a millennium. Oh. We have more here now. Um, the Galactic Senate has acted as the galaxy's primary legislative body, with representatives from worlds across the entire galaxy. However, since Palpatine's proclamation of the New Order, its power has waned considerably, and is largely seen as irrelevant on the galactic stage. Despite this, however, the Senate still remains one of the best ways to covertly work against the Empire, and could prove to be more influential than one may think. Current state Emperor controls law, hold debate. There's Imperial Senators, propose a Senate bill, start a Senate investigation. Radio propaganda is pretty normal, propaganda efforts, political actions prospect for resources. So, where are we at? So, is there anything else we could do here? Occupied territory, civilian oversight, local autonomy is what I like to do. Uh, three infantry battalions, house royal guards, five. In the end, it's all the same. Royal brig brigades are what we are currently have. So, what is this? Um, also, this doesn't go well. I'm going to just reload saves just because I don't know what's going to happen. Recruitment effort, remove 20 days. Remove 20 days. Raid supply depots. Have read a supply depot less than five times. Assassin Imperial Officer, move 20 days. Mina till his speech, move 35 days. So it looks like we should probably move pretty darn fast. I don't know if this is good to do. But it seems like we want to accelerate how fast we can have the Mon Cala uprising. All the Iranian resistance in the Galactic Empire. We're trying to build up more cities here. We we are protesting Imperial Moths and we have the legacy of the Delegation of 2000. And after that, we'll have Seeds of Rebellion. Ooh. Alderaan, Chandrillan, Resistance, Kotas, and Militia. Replace the Resistance cell with the Rebel cell. Ooh, weekly map goes up still. Very nice. Basic machine tools are very good. A Dispersed Industry, yes please. And we'll see what happens. What else we got here? Now we did that. Balance control is good. Um, I wouldn't mind doing this, maybe. Uh, Legacy of the Delegation, yes. Seeds of a Rebellion, yes please. 
begin calling units. Honestly, I don't know. I've also left this on historical to see what happens, but we'll see. Ooh. Dan to get two military factories, double radar station, uh, radar station, infrastructure, two air bases. That seems like the one we probably should do, or deploy, or develop the Royal Fleet. Yeah. We could probably use that. Get some radio, though. Uh, hey, sending control medium. Let's do it again. It seems like that's probably what we could probably really use a lot of. 47%. So, I'm going to get maxed out. Can we go to this one next? Maybe see the rebellion? Yes. And Alderanian Infantry Academy. Create a couple more units we could probably use. Light tank, blueprints, radar, whatnot. Uh, let's see how far we get with this, so. Uh, Oreo Balo Sector Headquarters. Also, I'm probably saying a lot of these things, things wrong, so I apologize. Is this going down? Huh. No. What is this? Rebel cells, ah, oh, very good. And then what? Aratus becomes a naval commander. Well, we'll probably get uniting cells. Probably for the best. Fifty-one percent seems pretty good. Oh, assassinate another one. It's always good to assassinate our enemies, right? One point six four political power is pretty decent. Well, Gorman shipping lanes debate. Oh, look at that. Real press score. How awful. Mancala, over sector. The hammer. Uh, audience with saw. Embrace the partisans' methods. Radicalism. Condemn the radicals. Oh, I don't know. Alliance loyalist funding. Well, confront imperial senate. You guys are over here. Oh, is this? Sure, why not? Try to convert them to make sure that they're all well supplied and whatnot. Three nine days. Oh, hold certain debate. Or six percent. Uh, sure, I guess. Why not? Let's see what happens. All we can really do is produce guns. I guess we can buy some equipment though. Um, artillery and infantry equipment would be nice. Thank you, Black Sun. Ten days left. Where are we at? We are at 71%. No, 66% for now. Mechanical computing, very good. And infantry stuff. Yes, please. Disperse industry. Follow up with what? Planes, artillery. Why not? And just in case, we'll save. Because it seems like things are going to explode here in just a little bit. So, uprising of Moncala. Blaster fire. Shattered holes and imperial disaster, these are the scenes of the galaxy watches unfold over Moncala. The watery rolls long seen as a thorn on the side of the Corusant's uh, Coruscant's hegemony, has launched a rapid and violent rebellion against the Emperor's forces. The fleet sent years ago to police the world has been completely destroyed, with local merchant fleet having mobilized in great number over Moncala. Well, the die finally cast. A new imperial task force is underway to the planet, and the fate of the Moncalamari is soon to be decided. This hope it will be over soon. Nice. So, with that in mind, where is it? How's it down here? No. Can I see any volunteers? Proof relations. Uh, oh, look at that. Imperials. Versus the Republic. Fuel gain, huh? Weekly manpower. We also get weekly sales. Well, we can't do anything about it. We have market access. Oh. Cancel Marcus Access. There's nothing we can really do for them. I want to see if we can get some uh, Army XP here. So, confront Imperial Sentence. Galactic Wide Surveys. Radios. 
confronting the Imperial Senate and the Coruscant. Proponents of galactic liberation gather silently at the steps of the Senate building to protest the recent actions of the Imperial Security Bureau, with some dissenters to claim that the government organization was practically an overreach and was turning it in a direction that would overlap the, res the, the responsibilities of the Senate. The anti-ISB coalition's protest has yet to be sought by any Imperial authorities, signaling that this may be a rare chance to help undermine the authority of the Emperor through peaceful and democratic means. Let's us hope for the best. Citizens Revolt, Confrontation in the Senate, and a shocking display of anti-imperial sentiment. Numerous senators gathered in the imperial Senate to get it today to express their concern over the practices of the Imperial Security Bureau, a shadowy organization about which not much has been officially revealed. However, reports gathered by the senators appear to indicate that the ISB is responsible for the death of numerous imperial citizens, alongside a plethora of other unethical practices. In response, an official representative for the ISB stated that such accusations were baseless and without merit. The imperial overreach ends here. Oh, t Senate Control, look at that. That's good. The audience just saw the partisan ideology. While known to be intensely radical and oftentimes easily irritated, saw Guerrera. Also happens to command a respectable rebel cell on both sides and skill. That could be of great use to us. His support should come at all. Will likely not be easily garnered. Regardless, we must try. After all, in this war against the Empire, we're going to need all the allies we can get. Oh. Yeah, let's see. Doctrine cost. Yeah, these are all okay. Defense. Organization. Yeah, we'll go though. Galactic wide surveys. Well, our base on Yavin 4 is more than suitable for our needs right now. We should look into the secondary base locations so that we do not become too dependent on Yavin 4. While there are thousands of systems that we could theoretically place a base on, only a handful of a perfect mixture of unknown, uninhabited, and perfectly located to suit our needs as a result. We may very well need to make some compromise. Let's see what's out there. Uh, so we need some more motorized and support equipment. Motorized, civilian trains, support equipment. Let's take whatever we got. Motorized and support equipment. Infantry. Well, it smells like there's very much out there, is there? No one can make anything. Sad. Oh! Potential site of Jean Klaus. Jean Klaus, the jungle moon in the Cade Mimu sector of the Outer Rim, is not on Imperial charts and could prove to be a very effective future base of operations. However, Robo engineers have noted that the moon's damp atmosphere will likely prove detrimental to our equipment. Uh, I don't know. Maybe there's better? Mm, perhaps there's better. I could be wrong. I probably am wrong. Total control is nice. Prospect for resources. Do we need any more steel? Oh, good on steel. Hoth. A remote icy planet and a Hoth system of the outer rim is largely ignored by Imperials. With no intelligent species having ever settled or existed on the planet, there's not much of a note. The planet's cold climate is likely to prove a challenge, but with the appropriate equipment, it's still manageable. Uh, I'm just going to go with Hoth because I don't know off the top of my head. I don't know. I apologize for not knowing. Uh, yeah. Fleet and Bing. We'll do the best we can. I don't think we'll be able to do that, but whatever. Okay, you got the political power one out. And then after that, we're going to grab Chief of Navy. Remus Antilles. Antilles. Condemn the radicals? Infamous Admiral Radus. It seems that a growing rebel movement is at risk of ripping itself in two. Saw Guerrero's partisans, in spite of, in spirit of violence and warmongering, have inflicted serious damage on the Empire, maybe intentionally, the citizens of the galaxy. Most, while most traditionalists and our forces are disgusted by such acts, many of the younger generation of rebels have grown fond of this idea of total war. It seems time for leadership to weigh in on the issue and hopefully prevent a schism. Embrace the partisans' methods. Add extremist tactics. We lose a lot of political power. Oh my god. Control good factors. Stability goes way down. Um, I don't know. A common strategic man, Jean Dodona, is renowned within not just the Masasi cell, but throughout the rebellion, as well as to those who serve under him. His analytical mind and courage could be a great use for a navy. First, as a hammer, brash and generally regarded to be a hard Moncali to work with, Radis is an effective military commander. His more aggressive and blunt approach to leadership could just be what the rebellion needs at this current stage, and avoid Moncala. 
Jean Dodana agrees. After a few days of apparent radio silence, it appears as though Jean Dodana is willing to join our cause and head our navy. He states that he has he ha, had to be sure that his people are ready to leave themselves, as installed a council to leave the Mas, uh, Masasi sailor instead, but proved to be an excellent staffer. Oh, cool. Submarine attack, but slightly more. Oh, that's pretty good. Nice, we're just getting the game together. Um, so we did eventually do condemn them, because eventually they did not work together, and they separated their ways eventually in the end. Spoiler alert. So I didn't really know which way to go, so that's why I just chose for us for now. Oh, wait, do we have someone here? Um, air accidents chance goes down. Ooh, enable bombing, naval agility. Okay, I'll go and get air safety. R2-D2. Seems about right. Uh, Alliance, loyalist funding, because we could use two off-map civvies and then another civvies as well. But right now, what do we have? We need motorized and support equipment. Pretty normal. Basic infantry. Motorized and support. Let's go here. Dog Admiral. Uh, doggy. Support. Uh, civilian trains. Trains. See, yeah, I don't see anything else. Support equipment. Yeah. Take everything you got for now. There we go. We don't need the extra infantry equipment, but honestly, we're going to need it eventually. We are missing more support equipment, so whatever. Uh, looking pretty good overall. Hey, look at that. Air launch torpedoes, recon cameras. What else we got here? Fuel tanks, stuff I hear here. Bomb piercing locks. Sure. Material aircraft. Envoy de Mancala description. Malas Masasi Masasi cell logistics. Hey, get two more civilian, or two more military factories. You know, I'll, we'll grab this one next. Uh, the Mancala have long been supportive of our efforts against the Empire and attempting to reach. Out for their formal support for their rebellion may be in our best interest. While some are skeptical of their willingness or even ability to help, they certainly doesn't, can't hurt to try. Let us hope for the best. Of course. Looking alright, two anti air, artillery. Oh, they pledge support, look at that. Talk to the Mon Calamari contacts. I've proven to be. Oh, uh, very productive, with the majority of the Mon Calamari supporting our cause, wholeheartedly, however. The Mon Calamari security forces advised us that the overwhelming imperial presence in the sector prevented them from intervening directly. And then in order to assist us, we must help to remove the presence of these Imperials. Oh, receive ships. But, oh, receive ships for Felucia. Oh god, how do we do this? The Mon Calamari fleet is tied down preventing Imperial sorties in another sector. If we can secure a buffer zone around their homeworld, we can free up the ships for use. So, uh, how do we get these guys under us? Heavy ship hull. Cruisers. Holy crap, is this heavy? Uh, I assume there's not really much we can change here. Uh, raiding fleet? Early trucks doesn't look like a truck to me, but that's all right. Take whoever, whatever we can get. Sell from every station. More political power, civvies and civvies. It's not bad. Industrial concerns. Either one, really. Okay, what else do we have here? Nothing there. Oh, Institute Press Censorship, Republican State? Um, probably not. Consumer Goods Factory, that's not bad. Finance Graduate. Uh, intelligence to others, we're building ourselves up here. Uh, conscription Laws, Trade, Economy, Theorists. Oh, Daily Air XP, that's different. Victory Through Air Power. Street destruction goes down. But that just helps us with air stuff. Uh, you know what? Air reduction cost goes down to get some more daily air XP. Why not? That was pretty good to me. Mm 
here bombing. Nice. I love bombing. What do we got here? Air defense reliability. Range. Air defense. So nothing we can do here. Close the bill. I feel like there's something we should do here, but I don't think there is. Oh god. Prepare for the inevitable. Total collapse of command, that's good. Rebel cell, home world defenders. Uh they lost all this stuff down here, unfortunately, but they're doing okay up here. Sell from every system. Or call sales from every system. Elect the first rebel council. ALD power balance begins in Alderaan. With the reserve side and aggressive side. Starts so at 10% towards the reserve side. Interesting. Spurs industry is nice. Yes. We should more research slots, but you know, there's not much we can do about it really. Huh. That's nice. What do we got here? Oh, we get more daily experience here. Convoy rating. Special forces training. Bend and Willard. Oh, RXP gain negative. Less attack, but way more defense. Trusted liaison. Army regrouping. Training time. Eh. Well. Special forces. We have no special forces at all. So what, what's the point of that? But at this point, like, division recovery it would help, I guess. It's not much, but it's something. Keep building yourselves up, y'all. Alliance to restore the Republic. Change the national focus to rebel tree. The Alderanian resistance will be known as the Rebel Alliance. Remove steadfast pacifism and remove Alderanian monarchy. Oh, hey, Naboo. Can we help them out? Can we send volunteers? We need at least 30 divisions. They have a pacifist population. The Queen's own. Down there. Naboo monarchy. Well, there's not much you can really do about them. Yeah, sure, why not? Are there trucks? Some of that, yes, please. Bill, anything else? Braxis Prime. Honogar. Um, Got a partial. You get more stuff to work with and it'd be faster to produce stuff, at least. Should be nice. The last restore the Republic. Since the Empire was first formed at the end of the Clone Wars, there have just been those against its very existence. Those uh, against not just the Empire itself, but what it stands for, against the ideas of tyranny and oppression, and who instead believe in democracy and equality for all. The gravest among them have worked against the system beyond the seemingly all the seeing eyes of the Empire in order to hopefully one day bring down the Empire. Even if they never see it themselves, throughout all this time our methods were quiet, were forced to work such that the Empire did not know existed. The change is now. There's no greater time now than to take the fight of the Empire, so to fight on our own turf rather than theirs. We have worked in the shadows long enough. The time to fight is now. Oh, look, there you go. Power balance. So over here, on the reserve side, use a lot of political power to get more war support, offensive war, penalty, stability modifier. Progressive. And we go on this side, reserve, you get more political power and stability, but you lose surrender limits. And unfortunately, we're all out of tea. Improve machine tools, huh? Nice with all that done. Yes. Neville Signy. Next one. Ooh. If he's an attache, finally. Hello. Um, deterrence. Liberty ethos. 
I mean, I guess. Sure, why not? Can you work on our naval stuff here? What else we got here? Oops. Sure. Nation. I guess. Let's see what our first instant conflict is like. We're at war now. Now there goes our stability. Oh boy. So the last to restore the Republic. Establish a provisional council. Adds load to legitimacy. Oh god. Proper fleet. Structuring of the army. Initiative plus 25%, that's not bad. Reconnaissance goes up. Defense against major countries, that seems pretty darn strong. Elect Supreme Leader. Deep Space Ship Works. Treaties on Starfighter Tactics. Huh. Proper Fleet. Well, I guess we'll go with that one first. Develop steel st steel foundries on crate. Sure. Good guys, so you can probably get down here. Ah, some of us are finally showing up here. Proper fleet, so we can do a treatise on starfighter tactics. A book written by Adar Talon is a famous uh, starfighter tactician and naval commander of the former Republic, Empire, now Rebel Alliance. His writing proved so important to the training of starfighter pilots, it was used by the Imperial Academy system until his leaving of the Imperial War Machine, at least. Alright. Oh, we can only do strategic destruction, huh? Oh, no, he's just to wait. Yeah, it's alright, we can wait. So what is this here? Infantry equipment. I'm not sure which one's best. I'm just gonna go with this one. No clue. Couldn't tell you. Wait, this is aggressive. This says reserve, but this says over here, huh? Bill of Gun is still the leader. Um, I might still not choose you, so get more weekly stability and political power, anyways. Cause that's pretty nice. Well, there's a couple guys here and there, but and they're fully entrenched. They're fighting a lot of forts, but they can't move. There's an organizer and a commando. Hope there's only a lot. Infantry leader, trickster, engineer. Oh, got him. Good job, guys. Oh, well, oh, rebel lines. Good job. We only lost a few guys. 997. Pretty cool. Sounds like a. How much it costs to buy something? Alright. Air XP gain daily. That's pretty good. Uh, because of political advisor. Well, we should probably just establish a provisional council. It's only two weeks to do so. We got a four research slots now, which is fantastic. Synthetic fuel or oil, please. Yes. There you go. Do that first. Ah, you don't want to do this one. Screw it. Why not? Give us a couple days. We'll get there. Nice. So now I have low legitimacy. Can we increase the legitimacy, though? Maybe. We'll recruit Giel Akbar. Income defectors as aircraft designers. Bribe frontier governors. Seek out sympathizers. We meet with the guilds. Extraction team Bravo. Oh, is there more over here? The founding chancellor. Oh, Ma we need Mon Motho. Is active. Oh, there's Bale. 
Oh. Oh, so we get have that and persist. We got more critical power. It's not bad. Interesting. Oh. Scalpel. Wow, oh, a lot of a lot of attack, isn't it? Uh, there you go. I always do this one. It's nice. Mon Matha. Rebellion from within. Expanding the movement. Bail Organa. Oh god. Season Senator. Republicanism versus Republicanism. Declaration of the New Republic. Bureaucratic Overstep. Minus 85%. Formation of the Galactic Republic. Ground Hero. Remember Alderaan. Oh god dang it. I don't remember. Oh, how about diplomatic envoys? Because we're gonna remove our low legitimacy. We have two subs. We haven't made any ships yet. Heavy ship hulls, of course. Uh, Results in embargo, imperial embargo against all rebel nations. Well, let's do it. Uh, Alliance level government. Uh, stability, political power, and everything else like that. Provisional council, of course. Next election in March of 1000. Alright. Rebel governors. Established research division. So it's not hurting us as much. It's still hurting us, don't get me wrong. Still. Ryloth requests investment. Cham Sindolas uh, sent an envoy on his behalf to request financial aid to prepare for the ongoing war brewing in Lesu, supporting his cause. Or this case could prove to enable a strong ally in that rim. I'm okay with that. So weapons of ships, more armor production cost goes up. Yeah, I want fat armor. Well, I'm fat. Allows all rebel cells to join the rebellion, either by merging or joining a faction. Electing, well, electing a supreme fleet commander. Oh, galactic wide salvage efforts. We lack the funds of the Imperial Starfleet, however. We have far more dedicated engineers and supporters. Sending out small task forces to locate scrapped or abandoned ships, we can repair them and bring them to our new Alliance fleet. So, strengthening our numbers, or perhaps even finding new commanders willing to join our cause. Destruction of the army. Infiltrators. Binoculars. Crix and Medine, huh? The Brother of the Rebel Alliance Army was an organization of various scattered rebel cells and factions uniting into one army under the command of the Alliance High Command. The specially born army is desperate, in desperate need of support via a properly trained general and new advances in research. Heavy blasters. Fuel storage. So slightly ahead of time, so we're not going to do that yet. Um. Good hospitals we shouldn't need. Maintenance companies, military police, artillery is important. Anti tank? Yeah, I probably need some anti tank here. We're probably going to get the crap blown out of ourselves. Oh! Halyston Aldani. Tensions are running high on Coruscant this evening, and news new images were released of what Imperial Office officials are calling an unprovoked terror attack. Scenes of a firefight and hurried escape from Aldani insulation, alongside an allegedly large sum of stolen credits. I pushed the Senate into an overnight emergency session. While much is left uncertain, it seems that the Empire is prepared to take decisive action out of this humiliation. Let's get to the bottom of this. Deploy scavengers. Ooh. If we ever hope to take on the Empire, we need to begin reinforcing our fleet quickly. While our allies attempt to purchase ships for the Rebellion, we can use some unorthodox methods. Sending scavengers to roam the galaxy may reap some serious rewards. Deploy scavengers. To locate abandoned ships, or a captain is willing to join a cause. Yeah, why not? A prompt to intelligence agency, with all hastily the reliance was united in the fear of the growing threat of the Empire. We haven't had the resources to properly unite the intel agencies of Masasi Cell and the Fulcrum Networks. Both are operating independently, and with no centralized location, this has to change at once. Alright, go ahead and do it. Anyways, yeah, it's fine. Uh, 
Uh, we're going to go with the tried and true spirit firepower because I'm not sure what's best here. Ooh, special forces. Now, Sokotano becomes a ground hero. Becomes chief of the army, the following effects. Holy crap. So, establish a proper chain of command. Yeah, I'd probably be good to do too. Oh, we supply scavengers, yeah. 100. Uh, oh god. Deploys the bellicose and unlocks Firin's Avatsara as an admiral. So, you need more naval XP for that. We got a lot of subs, but I don't want to use subs. Cruisers. I don't want to do declaration of this just because like they would like go to war with us, won't they? Declaration of rebellion. Got a heart seducer. Both of you. You could try and see what happens, maybe. Just don't docking. I don't know. What I do know is we need more output. It's looking not bad. We're gonna do this. And this is what the division we're using currently. Can we get swoop battalions? What is this? This infantry is decent. 1.5 suppression, 1.5 organization, HP is the same, weight's the same. This requires 10 more support equipment. Why? Slightly better movement, huh? Artillery? 18-2. Support anti-air. Okay, just in case. So now we need way more artillery, huh? Infantry equipment. Let's see. Doggo. 42, 87. Yeah, there we go. Don't do that one, that's fine. Anti tank. There you go, so that's the proper chain of command. Organs are fighters. Well, we can try and see what happens. Maybe good, maybe bad, we'll see. Hunter killer groups. Play more scavengers. Aid Saturn Virgilio. Do deflector shields. Radar. Come over here. Construction speed, yes, please. Less speed, less sub visibility. So, this is these guys. Torpedo attack for subs. Long range rating. These are all for subs, though, so. I do prefer speed. Uh, Rebel governors establish trade networks. That'd probably be pretty good to do. And uh, then we'll do what? Elect a supreme, supreme commander. Uh, after we do this one, Rebel governors. Toad anti tank, yes, please. You need more already now, too. And then even more already. Buy whatever you need, sons. Repair the starfighter. Oh. Theron's Avatsara. Oh. 
Baron's Avat Sara joins the cause. During a recent scouting operation, members of the Salvaging Party made contact with an important asset. Baron Avat Sara has been a major thorn in the side of the Imperial Navy, and using his modified scout cruiser, Bellicose, to raid shipping lands and patrols, so he has sworn to serve Provincial Council to the bitter end. Okay, cool. I guess we'll do elect a Supreme Commander. I don't know, it's 998, so we gotta get ready for war. Better already's nice. <clears throat> Working on that whole already thing here. Hardy already. Hey, two ships. Look at that. Cruiser and a heavy ship. It's decent. And a cruiser. 1940s cruiser. It's not bad. Both quite heavy. We could use some uh, destroyers, cruiser hulls, uh, destroyers. Hey, we'll see. Bring whatever we can, and then we'll see what happens here. <clears throat> With the Alliance finally uniting under one single banner, the Starfleet has been left in a sad state, no primary leadership and fleets across the galaxy. High command is deemed necessary to elect a supreme fellow, uh, commander out of the three uh, worthy options currently in the ranks. Jean Dodan of Masasi Cell, Garn Bel Iblis of the Corellian Resistance, and Gal Akbar of the Moncala Resistance. All are fine choices, yet all specialize in unique tactics, having very different ideas how to use a newfound rebel navy. Jean Dodana. Okay. Recruit Gyal Akbar. Well, cool. I think I might end it here, because I'll read a couple more if we can. We're we'll going to do this one here and organize our fighter force. And eventually we'll incorporate Ogana's network. Since a freshly established alliance, its intelligence agency has been centralized out of Yavin temples. It's finally in time to incorporate Organa's personal fulcrum network into the agency, allowing them to properly start hearing the whispers across the galaxy, which would be a great thing to do. Oh, which Antils becomes the leader anyways. Oh. Oh, we lost him. Well, that's no good. So I'm showing a nail guy. No, we're not getting that much. Ooh, what is this? Carriers. Detailed fleet reports. Fleet reorganization. Uh, the unity. The amity. Well then. Detailed uh, fleet reports and then uh, cargo ship conversion? Perhaps. It may be bribe Frontier Governors, but hey, if you enjoyed our first episode here, uh, as this playing as a Rebel Alliance, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. See what we're going to do with probably having elections. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.